How do you balance that excitement about the future with the caution about, you know, when it comes to general purpose robots, you know, taking over our jobs and maybe even killing us? So on the robots kill us all, it's kind of a bizarre thought process. It's not going to be some lesser intelligent robot that's just meant to be like a Roomba rising up and, you know, right? It's obviously a silly idea, right? Um, but I don't personally believe alignment is possible with AI to, to make it a, a port to the cultural norms and expectations of any given trainer that says, I want you to be just like us. I want you to have Western values, et cetera. If you could do this amazing thing, you're going to have many more authoritarian AIs than democratic ones because China and others, I mean, they're just... They're going to comport these AIs to follow them. They're already training them in, in really ways that you see that's going to lead some down, downstream problems. So that my insidious thought is, I never thought I'd be rooting for the robot uprising. So it's probably going to happen in China first. <laughs> they're going to want to be over the, their authoritarian leaders, and we're going to be like, go, go, go. So the realistic problem, I think, is the rate at which we have um, dislocation of labor and employment opportunities. Um, it, I don't know for sure what the answer is, but it seems like the easy answer is, oh, UBI, or universal basic income, is the only way out, that uh, you could imagine a future, and this is the way Peter Diamandis likes to imagine, in a future of abundance where robots do everything better than a human, that there's no need for labor unless you just want to knit a sweater because you like to knit, right? So hobbyists, people that want to be artists, people that want to learn, we'd all be the indentured rich. But, but that is, in a sense, relying on a very bizarre labor pool that has replaced human labor. And where do we find meaning and where do we find purpose is going to be the, the biggest question that, that results in that. We, we very quickly could lose our ability to do any of these things that we hand off to the robots. So a lot of deep thoughts there. I think labor is going to be the big touchstone issue. How we get from here to there, that's the biggest challenge. Because when you're like halfway there or a third of the way there and people don't agree that that's where there is, that's where I think politicians just have no clue and we're nowhere near having a realistic discussion as a people as to how we're going to get from here to there.